Hi there, friends. Welcome to the YouTube channel for the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. I'm Pastor Bill Johnson with another daily episode of We Are the Church. Happy Monday to you, friends. Great to start the week off uh, together. Thank you for stopping by, and, and I do hope that this finds you well at the beginning of this week. Today, I am going to be reading from uh, Paul's letter to the Colossian churches. This is chapter thir 3, verses 12 and 13. Here's what the author says. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Two little verses that pack quite a wallop. These uh, verses encourage us to, first of all, make sure that uh, so far as we are consciously able, we clothe ourselves in humility, meekness, kindness, gentleness. Um, humility being the operative word that leads to the others. And then Paul says the word must. And we don't always like to hear the word must. Don't tell me what I must do. But in this case, it's a good word. If you have a complaint against somebody else, then uh, forgive them. As, as Christ has forgiven you, you must forgive. Forgiveness, it turns out, lies at the heart of the entire Christian message. Not only uh, in the sense that we as Christians are meant to forgive others, but we don't even get to call ourselves Christian if we don't first receive the forgiveness of Christ for all of our sin and transgressions, for living in a relationship apart from God. Christ is able to restore us to that right relationship with God. This is a gift of God. It's unmerited. We don't deserve it. It's given as a gift of grace. But without forgiveness, we pretty much nullify everything that we stand on as Christians ourselves. So because we stand on a bedrock of God's forgiveness, of God's uh, purpose uh, in his heart to forgive all things, then we must also extend that forgiveness toward others. It's the basic currency at the heart of the Christian faith, the love of God expressed in forgiveness. Forgiveness is not easy. Uh, sometimes we hang on to old grudges. Sometimes we really, really have a hard time letting things go. But my word to you, friends, today is a simple one. The longer we hang on to those old wounds and injuries, the more damage we do to ourselves and not to the other. Sometimes people thoughtlessly hurt us and then just move on with their life, and they're living a happy and carefree life so far as we know. But we're carrying around all of this baggage because one day we might meet up with them again, and we need to know whether they can be trusted. We, we might want to confront or, or whatever else. You know what? It's so much easier to find in our heart to forgive, to name the person, and uh, ask God to help us to forgive that person and let it go. I know these sound like simple words rolling out of my mouth, and I know they're difficult uh, to actually put into practice. But honestly, the only ones we hurt when we hang on to old wounds is ourselves. Uh, so put your forgiveness into practice today. That is the forgiveness that Christ has shown to you. Put it into practice in the way that you treat others. Bear patiently with those that uh, that we have complaints against. And when the time comes, just let all of that go so that you can continue to extend the forgiveness of Christ toward you. That's the word for today. Let's pray. Loving God, we do pray that you can bring us to a place of fully experiencing your forgiveness by sharing it with others not weighing their sins against us, but eagerly uh, seeking that place of reconciliation, that place of forgiveness, and that place where we can 
walk a little bit lighter because we no longer carry the burdens of what others have done to us. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, remember our three simple rules as you head out into a brand new week. Do no harm. Do all the good you can. Stay in love with God. And I will see you soon.